Hey guys, so today we are with the Triumph Entertainment team. We have Edwin, Nicole, and Scarlett joining us today. Hi. What exactly do you guys do for entertainment on the ship? Oh, we are a part. <laughs> oh, you just threw it to me. Yeah. Right. We're a part of the uh, main stage production team uh, in the Rome Lounge. Uh, we do three Las Vegas style uh, review shows uh, in the main lounge. And I'm a singer, and Nicole is the dance captain, and Scarlett is the assistant dance captain. Nice. Yeah. What type of shows do you guys normally do on the ship? Um, well, we have a show called Wonderful World uh, that is sort of a tribute to music and dance from countries around the world. Mm -hmm. um, we also have our magic show, which is called New Wave Magic, with our fly-on magician, Mark Benick, um, who comes in from Las Vegas to do, um, to do the show. And then we have a production show called The Big Easy, which is a tribute to New Orleans. Mm -hmm. I saw you guys um, in Mark's show last night. Some of those costumes are pretty uh, feathery. Risque. And Very risque. <laughs> yeah, a lot of feathers. Yes. So who designs the costumes? Do you guys get kind of like assigned it from Carnival or how do you guys choose outfits? The, the costumes as well as the show have been on this ship for a long, long time. And they're created as well as the costumes are created from, I don't even know who did it years and years ago. But what happens when the new cast comes on, we get, um, the costumes stay the same, they just get altered to our body. Mm -hmm. Same as the feathers and backpacks and everything, they stay the same costumes, they just get altered with each new cast. The same as all the other shows on the ship. We don't get brand new costumes, mm -hmm. we just, yeah. Resized. Yes, mm -hmm. resized. And all the all the feathers and everything get, um, we, ju we have replacement feathers, so we just keep replacing the feathers when they break and all that kind of stuff. Nice. How long is your typical contract as an entertainer on the ship? Uh, it's about seven months, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, with a month, uh, four to six weeks of rehearsals as, as well. Um, in On this ship, we rehearse on, on the ship. So we come on board mm -hmm. and we rehearse for about four to six weeks while there's a cast performing and then we'll gradually take over the shows from them. Oh, that's yeah. pretty cool. So yeah. you kind of come on with no mm -hmm. experience of the show and then slowly yeah. develop it on the ship? Yeah. yeah. How yeah. long is a typical rehearsal? In cast change, like th what Sky was talking about, the four to six weeks at the beginning of the contract, it can be between 10 to 14 hours a day for, for six Ooh. weeks. Pretty and you're nice. also adjusting to ship life as well. So you're rehearsing, but then you're also doing safety trainings. Mm -hmm. um, for some people, it's their first time away from home. So it's, um, it's, it's a an lot. intense yeah. Yeah. Almost like yeah. a homeschool type of situation, like boarding school where you kind of get sent off to really kind of train on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Kind of. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Yeah. Yeah. Like boarding school. It, it is yeah. exactly like boarding school. <laughs> I mean, really. Uh, um, you get told when to eat. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You have, we have eating times. And yep. But I mean, during rehearsals, it's it's really when you're rehearsing on board, you have to also contend with you're you're living on an actively working mm -hmm. hotel resort. So, you know, this lounge is used for other things, and uh, sometimes you don't always get time on the main stage, mm -hmm. and so we have to find time somewhere else to rehearse. Sometimes we'll be in the nightclub. Sometimes we'll be in the Oxford Lounge on deck four rehearsing. So sometimes we outside. You're trying to piecemeal it all together. Sometimes we'll be upstairs in the gym wherever we can find time. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that 14 hours is not necessarily 14 hours right here in the main lounge, but it can be anywhere around the ship. And you just have to, you know, it's part of, you know, rehearsing yeah. on board a, a working resort, yeah, basically. Because as Ed, Ed said, uh, we, we may be rehearsing for six weeks, but in that six weeks, the ship's still running like it always does. And so we kind of have to work around like the guests and the, the ship schedule. What's the most difficult thing about being an entertainer on the ship, especially for brand new? Brand new, being home, homesick, being away from home. Yeah. I think so anyway. Communi and the food. Yeah. No, the food's great. <laughs> Communication's hard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, as anybody can tell you on a ship, it's, uh, you know, internet access is notoriously difficult. And mm -hmm. it's not anybody's fault, it's just the nature of sort yeah. of the piece. The, you know, you're having to deal with satellites and you have 3,000 people on board all wanting to use the same uh, internet at the same time and you have you know, 1,500 crew all mm -hmm. wanting to, you know, call home and do things. And so communication can be slow. And, and that makes, uh, that's what makes sometimes homesickness oh, yeah. worse is that you don't have the immediate access to, to talking to people, even just on Facebook sometimes. Yeah. And, you know, that's something you kind of take for granted when you're on land. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, when you're out here, you, you really are more conscious of it. And so you use your ports, your home ports, and ports like Cozumel, 
it's not so much about being a tourist or being on vacation as much as it is Skyping home finding oh, yeah. good internet yeah. and finding a cafe that you can just yeah sit and talk to your family yeah. so do you guys all come on together as new people we do of? like at the beginning of our so this cast got contracted to the triumph mm -hmm. um, and I had heard of a few people met a few people hadn't met a few people but we all came on and we do our seven months and then at the end of the seven months we all sign off and we get assigned hopefully to different contracts different ships um, now some people may get cast together on mm -hmm. a ship Ed's my husband so he can't escape right so we always go on the same ship <laughs> um, and yeah so we we go off do other contracts mm -hmm. and then like for example I met Scarlett in 2010 um, and have done a since then have done a few cast changes with her but this is actually the first contract that I've done with her oh, nice. so I've yeah. known her yeah. for a long time but yeah. so you meet people and then it might be like years and years until you actually do a contract with mm -hmm. them but yeah mm -hmm. do you guys kind of really become a family as you're spending the six yep. months Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. how yeah. hard is it when that contract's over terribly hard, Incredibly hard. yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sometimes amazing because <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time, it's really hard to say goodbye mm. to everyone. But every now and then, you do Was get those like one person. Yeah, yeah, every now and then you get those contracts, or you have one or not one or two people. But you know, every contract is different. Yeah. This one's been amazing, and everyone is you great. Have a really great cast. Great, great cast. Yeah. But then mm -hmm. sometimes in some casts, you have a lot of drama between, maybe not necessarily between cast members, but maybe between cast members and other teammates that at the end of the contract it's just a relief to go home mm -hmm. because it, I mean it's 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 just like anything else I mean it it's it's a dream job in that you know you're getting to travel and you get to do what you love to do and, mm -hmm. and we're, you get paid to do what you love to, to do to be a performer and you have a steady job as a as a performing artist which is hard enough in and of itself mm -hmm. but you know you also have all of those those different things I mean different personalities come in and sometimes they all click and sometimes they don't mm -hmm. and it's not good or bad it's just the way it is what makes it hard is that you're all locked here sort of together right. for seven months and and if there are those conflicts it's not like at home where at the end of the day you, you all go, go your separate ways or you you know you go to the bar and you can mm -hmm. vent a little bit and then you go home and it, you burn it off and then you come back in fresh here you're living and working and playing with every with the people that you work with mm -hmm. you know it's you're in the same corridor you know everybody's living in the same general area going to the same uh, mess. same mm -hmm. mess the same, same bar. the same crew yeah. bar the same thing and so you have to learn how to deal with those personality conflicts and some some contracts are easier than others yeah. to do that but honestly like most of the time though mm -hmm. you do become a family because we're all we have yeah. it's so hard to say goodbye we celebrate birthdays with each other we celebrate engagements it's we christmas. celebrate christmas christmas is always Crim a big yeah, day christmas yeah christmas is yeah. huge you have to make the most of it yeah, yeah because you want everybody to feel like they're at home because everybody's missing home. Yeah. Everybody has family that they want to be with. But Are most of the contracts from all over the world yep. or is it usually a specific area that you kind of notice people mainly come from? A lot of the times it's, there's not usually a lot of Americans, but there no. are a few. It's mainly Australian, England, English, English Canadian. Canadian. Yeah. Yeah. In the production yeah. cast. In the production mm -hmm. cast. There's also Russians, um, yeah, it's mainly Australian, English, Canadian, mm -hmm. and a few. Yeah. And a few, yeah, there's a few Americans. A few Americans here and there. You'll only find lo the the American um, team members are are in um, entertainment. You know, they're hosts or cruise directors mm -hmm. or, or things, or musicians, yeah. things like that. Mm -hmm. That's where um, they all are. But they're, I think, what is it, 52 different nationalities yeah. aboard oh, wow. the entire ship. Yeah. yeah. A lot of which are from Southeast Asia, um, a lot from Eastern Europe, mm -hmm. um, and. Uh, increasingly more from Central and South America, um, which makes for a really interesting mix. But it's it's really cool because we all live mm -hmm. and are locked in this place together, you know, in a good way. Yeah. We're, we're all here together for <laughs> seven months, and we all manage to to get along. I mean, I had I, I had a friend who used to who always says, you know, we have 52 nationalities here, and we all get along, and we all live together, and work together, and and help each other out. If only the people outside could get their stuff mm -hmm. together as well as we have. 
Exactly. Are you guys able to kind of keep up with like the outside world since... I find it hard. I have given up. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, He's I good because he... I don't, yeah, it's hard to keep up mm -hmm. with things. You know television shows a bit. A bit. You know, um, but... I don't know any music uh, that's yeah, come I, out in the last yeah, 10 years. I, when you go home, you put on the radio. You know, you know nothing. I love this new song and yeah. someone will say, this is old. This is like... Especially in Australia. Old, like, yeah. I don't know about you, but I'll go home and... People will be talking thing about things that have happened, like even in the last few years, and I just have no idea. Not necessarily with TV or music, but just life in general. Yeah. Oh wow! It's hard just enough to just remember what day it is. Yeah. I mean, I don't. If somebody asks me what day it is, <laughs> I don't. I, don't, I have no idea. Today. I can tell you it's C day two. Yep. <laughs> I know New Orleans is tomorrow, so it's either Saturday, New Monday, or Thursday. Yeah, it's New Orleans tomorrow, yep. and then you have Cozumel Day. <laughs> yeah. And that's about it. That's how your days are structured. Yeah, we don't so talk days of the week. We, we just Four days, Four days, yeah. Four days and sea days. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's and show days. It's what? easier when on a seven day, con like mm -hmm. when doing a contract with seven days, because it's obviously you start Sunday to Sunday, Sunday, mm -hmm. Sunday, but here, yeah, four and five days, it's, it's you just give up. <laughs> <laughs> So what's your favorite type of day? Is it a sea day that's kind of easier or is it a port day that's easier or are they <laughs> all just are, kind of? Sea days aren't easy. I find sea days really busy because mm -hmm. um, for all for us, there's shows at night times on the sea day um, and we usually start getting ready about four in the afternoon and then once we finish and pack away all our costumes, it's 11 or 12. Mm -hmm. So it's a big chunk of the day. And then before that, we have a few duties. Um, so I find sea days quite busy. Um, my favorite day is when we have Cozumel and, and our day off. Oh, nice. We can go out and enjoy. We're not so really when there's yeah, yeah. when oh, there's wow. no guests on board, we're not really needed because mm -hmm. there's no sh show to perform to people. Yeah. So we're lucky. We get a lot of time off in port. Yeah. Um, so we get to enjoy. When, like you, do you guys, guys do. explore the port, or do you kind of just kind of rest, relax? Yes and yes. A lot yeah. of the times we'll um, well for Cozumel. Um, Scar's probably the same, but we've been going to Cozumel for for oh, years and years, yeah. for about 10 years, because yeah. for some reason it's um, it's always on our itinerary or whatever mm -hmm. ship we're on, which is great because it's one of our favourite ports. Um, so we've done a lot of the touristy things, um, but now we find like Cozumel for us is kind of like a home mm -hmm. port for us that the other day yeah. all we wanted to do was go to Pizza Hut and feel normal. <laughs> so in Cozumel, Mexico, we went to Pizza Hut. Yes, we did. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it's just kind of because I think we've talked about it in in seven years. So I've been with the company seven years. Um, and in those seven years, I've been to Cozumel more than I've been to my own home. Yeah. Oh, wow. In, in, in all that good, time. Cause cause you're, you're like mm -hmm. every seven days and on this ship, it's four and five days. Yeah. So three times, three times every, every two weeks, two weeks yeah. mm -hmm. we're in Cozumel. Yeah. And you get to know people, and there are people that we've worked on ships with who mm -hmm. now live there, and you get to know people who know who own restaurants mm -hmm. there now, and it yeah. it's just like home. Yeah. So sometimes, you know, I can feel the ship kind of rocking back and <laughs> forth quite a bit. How does that affect some of the dancing? Uh, well, that's quite a challenge on board, especially for Nicole in shows. Some of your heels um, are pretty pretty yeah, big. Yeah. So if it, you know, you can feel if it's a sea day, and you can feel it being a bit rocky um, the dance captain will monitor it and you know speak with the bridge what's going on things like that um, and then it's your call basically of what she wants to do with the show do you do that yeah. in the middle of performances like if usually it's sometime at the, it's usually at the beginning like I I like to make a call at least by around five o'clock because that shows at seven o'clock and nine o'clock mm -hmm. and if it's if it's been rocky since nine in the morning until five o'clock and it hasn't let up at all and it's really really rocky then and the, and the captain says it's, it's going to be yeah. the same, then it's easy to cancel then because, because you know it's not going to get any better. Mm -hmm. But if it's, it's kind of, um, it's rocky for a bit and then kind of stable and then rocky for a bit, then um, we can do what we call cut shows where we still put on a big, amazing show, but we cut out the dangerous parts. Mm -hmm. So the audience doesn't know any different. We're still putting on a big show. And it's not, it's not necessarily all the time for the dancers and singers, but for the tech team as well, and all the flying props, it's really dangerous. There's mm -hmm. so many props, side stage and flying up in the roof that they have to bring down. And if it's rocky, um, the systems can error, so everything will just stop, or even worse than that, something can fall and hurt mm -hmm. someone. So it is, it is for the singers and dancers, but at the end of the day, it's, it's a real challenge for the tech team as well because that's where all the kind of the danger is when it's rocky like that yeah, most people don't really i mean because I, I think it's hard to fathom what we have here which is basically a broadway mm. 
theater in the front of a cruise ship. Mm-hmm. And, it, and it's a the most rocky theater. part of the ship mm-hmm. as well. It's the most rocky part of the ship. It's the <laughs> Build part the of the theater ship there. That, that feels everything the most. And we have lighting rigs and um, backdrops, you know, much the same as any big Vegas mm-hmm. theater, any big Broadway theater. And it's all of all of those things in a moving ship, and everything's moving all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and and like so it's, it, yeah. it's, there's a lot of parts. And so, you know, as much as sometimes, you know, people. Um, you know, it's, it is frustrating. It's frustrating for us when we don't get to do a show, but it's also frustrating for the guests when they mm-hmm. don't get to see a show. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it, we try to emphasize that when it gets so bad that we have to cancel a show, it's because there are so many working parts that if it's, if anything goes wrong, I mean, mm-hmm. you, can, you can really get injured, and, and, and we want to make sure everybody's safe yeah. and, and that the, you know, the, the set pieces and that these big, giant shows are still kept intact. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's and people. Yeah, and, and people. people. And that's people. that's <laughs> good. Yeah. So sometimes you know things do go wrong. I've um, done different things in the past, and you know mistakes are made. Mm-hmm. How easy is it to kind of recuperate from a mistake, and how noticeable usually are they? Like maybe like a slight trip or something like that. Like what's like a minor mistake, and then what's like a oh crap mistake? Um, so. <laughs> I don't know about everyone else. I mean, I do. I fall down all the time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's how you cover it. And yeah. a lot of the times, if you fall down or if you make a mistake, the audience will have no idea. Mm-hmm. Um, yourself, you, you will. And everyone that's standing around you will laugh at you. Um, but a lot of the times, if it's, a, if it's a minor one, then it's. I find it really funny if everyone's safe. Um, we had a girl the other day that actually her leg fell down the, the pit like a small crack, her leg fell down, and she was actually stuck on on the ground, pulling her leg out. During a show. During a show, yeah, yeah during a show. Can't really hide that. Can't hide that, and we have it on tape, which is great. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but I, I'm sure the audience members would have seen that because it was quite noticeable, but um, <laughs> things like that. Uh, but other things, like um, I was doing cast change when I was watching your cast because mm-hmm. Scar re-signed which means she was here for last cast and then again for this cast they were performing in the show and one of a, a big chair in gospel a big chair actually got stuck to a drop that was flying up and so it got stuck it got stuck and I saw it mm. rising up and then it d- like came crashing down so obviously every single person heard that heard that and mm. saw that um, yeah there's different there's different things that that happen all the time whether it be the dancers or the props or anything like that and as long as everyone's safe and no one gets hurt, then me personally, I, mistakes, as you said, mistakes mm-hmm. happen, human errors happen. I'm not one to get angry or frustrated. You know, these things happen. Just as long as everyone's safe and looking mm-hmm. after each other. Then. The, the, the most fun when things go wrong is when it goes wrong with props. Yeah. I find that those are the funniest times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, like, especially we, we, in a few shows, we have these little, like, the magic canes that you... You know, you extend, yep. they extend, and there's always something that goes wrong with those magic canes. Mine, oh, just the other, just last cruise, mine, because you're supposed to shoot it out and you catch it straight away, but mine shot out of my hand, and in a second I thought, oh, there goes my cane, it just fell back in my hand. So like, gee, I'm good. <laughs> but it's live theater, and that's yeah. the great thing about mm-hmm. it. And I think, um, you know, you, you want everything to go as, as perfectly as it can. But at the end of the day, it, it's live theater, and, and that's really what we're mm-hmm. what we're selling, I guess, yeah. is is that a, a live theater experience. We're offering people um, some sometimes people who who wouldn't normally have a chance to see um, a, a big stage show like this, you know, in their hometown or anything like that. And we're trying to give them the experience that they would get if they went to Las mm-hmm. Vegas or if they went to New York or Chicago or, or anywhere else. And just and our stage is moving. Yeah, and our stage is moving, and, <laughs> and so. In, in live theater, stuff happens all the time. Mm-hmm. We try to handle it and make it as as less noticeable as you can. Sometimes you just can't. You yeah. have to roll with it and you ad lib and you, you know, it's best to just admit that it happened yeah. <laughs> rather than I, try yeah. to pretend that it didn't. I really enjoy but when something happens and just, for example, something happens on the edge of the stage and a mistake happens. I really like it when I look out and the audience is laughing because they know that a mistake yeah. happened and they saw it. That makes me laugh as well. Yeah. I like that. Matt, I have a few questions. Okay. Um, I mean, Nicole, if you can ask her what the, um, what her role is as a dancer. So, what's what your role as a... Hang on, hang on, <laughs> two, and then <laughs> And you two are married? Yeah. Do yeah. you meet on the ship? Yeah. And if so, yeah. how? And 
what happened there. <laughs> so Nicole, what's yep. your role as a dance captain? Um, basically, it's looking at, there's 15 members in the cast, there's 13 dancers, including myself and two singers. Um, and my role is basically to keep the shows clean, mm -hmm. um, doing scheduling, giving um, organizing schedules for every cruise, making and I like to think just making sure that everyone's happy and looking after everyone. And um, obviously, the sh shows are a very uh, a main ingredient of my job to make sure they're all spick and span. But um, personally, I like to just make sure that everyone's having a good time and looked after. Looked after, yeah. um, especially for new contractors. Mm. Like we have a few in the, who are brand new and Nicole has been very good at like making them feel welcome like uh -huh. sharing her experience and things like that because it can be overwhelming your first time mm -hmm. yeah. you know signing on board so and one of our one of our newbies is 19 as well she's she's quite young it was the first time away from home it was the first time flying from England I don't know if it's the first time out of the country but she yeah. did all the flights herself you know I mean 19 not young but it is Quite that daunting. Is, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. overwhelming. It's yeah. overwhelming. It yeah. Especially knowing you're going to be here almost exactly. isolated from a lot of society. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Christmas was hard for her, and so mm -hmm. we looked after. I mean, it's hard for everyone, but I mean, her family's come out to cruise twice, so it's yeah. been good. But yeah, so, um, and then we're talking about show stops and all the shows, and just basically making sure I, like, personally, I make the right calls and keeping everyone safe. Mm -hmm. It's the main thing. And final question, because I don't want to take up too much of your right. time, probably have a lot of moves to kind of rehearse. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are married, right? Yes. Yes. So did you guys meet on the ship, or how did that exactly happen? Yes. So we met... Um, five years. We met five years. Oh, wow. Seven. Oh, seven years ago. Yeah. Seven. Oh, my gosh. So <laughs> we met seven years ago. It's the end of my first contract. Uh, on the Valor. Uh, on the Carnival Valor. Um, I was leaving, and Nicole was a part of the new cast. So we were uh, had the crossover of about four cast weeks change. of cast change. Um, and then I left to go to the Carnival Spirit, and, and then, then a I, year later, and then yeah, and then I re six, at the end of my contract I resigned, and Nicole was a part of the new cast who was going to be a part of my cast, mm -hmm. and that's when we started, um, when we started dating. Is that allowed, like inner cast member yeah, dating? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And then it's quite common to, to have mm -hmm. married couples. Yeah. Or, yeah. You know, and then he proposed in Curacao. And then the rest is history. Yeah, nice. we've been married for three years. Yep. And and Carnival's really great um, about keeping couples and, and married couples together. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've been very, very lucky. We've never had to, you know, make any any really hard decisions about, you know, mm -hmm. about anything like that because they, they've kept us together and we've just have gone from ship to ship and we'll keep doing that as long as we can. Scar's fiance is actually on board as well. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And is you're getting married. Too, or? Yeah, yeah, he works here as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So uh, two months, I think, yes. <gasps> Just over two months, I'll be leaving here and getting married. So. Yay. Nice. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. He's such yeah. a beautiful bride. Must be nice where no one yeah. has to do any cooking or cleaning, no arguments about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, true. the funny thing That's is, is when we're at home, we argue about who is going to cook because we both love cooking. Yeah. And I like to think I'm better, but then when he cooks, uh, He's better. Yeah, that's you, on, that's on tape. That yeah. Yeah. You said it. It's the like thing I miss most about being home is like cooking and yeah. you know, going, yeah. to, the going to the grocery store. Going to the grocery store. It's so yeah. exciting when you go. It home. is. Yeah. Like going to the movies. Going to the movies. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's also that's a big thing. That's why, like in New Orleans, our home our home port here, New Orleans is amazing. And most of the time, we walk around and just eat and like experience everything. But just last week, we went to the movies and just to kind of feel like normal. A bit normal. Yeah. 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 That was fun. It's amazing how much normal is taken for granted. You just, mm -hmm. you really, your day is it's, it's just very strange. Yeah. It's fun. It's a fun life, but it, yeah. it is very odd when you mm -hmm. stop, when you stop and talk about it. And really, only people who have, who have done it, yeah. really understand mm -hmm. it and really understand how different it is. Once you get, you get off the ship and you're on land and you realize, oh, I don't have to wear my name tag mm -hmm. when I leave the house. Yeah. I'll f yeah, we'll find like we'll, we'll be at home and we'll walk out of of the house to go to the go to the grocery store we'll look for a name I'll, tag. I'll, check my, I'll check for my <laughs> name sorry. tag and I'll be like oh, I don't have to wear yeah. a name tag to go to the grocery store. Nice. Yeah. Well thanks guys so much for the interview. No uh, we had a really Thank good time. It's nice meeting you. Oh, go ahead. Nice meeting you. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.